Great day everyone, welcome to another OBS tutorial on this channel and in today's video I would like to show you how you can separate audio tracks in your OBS. Thanks both you can easily manage all of the audio levels of various inputs like your game, your music, your discord or whatever else. So let's go for it. Okay so let's say that you are in your OBS studio. This is how it basically looks in the default. In your audio mixer you got only one audio stop. What is actually desktop audio in which you got combined all of the sounds from your PC in one audio stop. What is basically what we want to change in this video. So we will simply go to settings, you will go to audio and then we will simply disable desktop audio because we don't want to use all of those sounds combined. So click and disable. Nextly we are going to choose the microphone we are using. So we will click on mic and we will choose the microphone. In my case it's this one, microphone 2C1U like this and I will click on apply. Then we are going towards the output. Here make sure that you have output mode set towards the advanced and then you can play with the settings itself. So first of all what we want to choose is audio track in the streaming settings. You want to choose the audio track 1 for your stream. That means everything what will be in the audio track 1 will go towards your stream. But let's say that for this video we want to use the Twitch VOD track as well and this will actually have not all of the sounds from the original Twitch audio track. So I will check this Twitch VOD track and I will simply check second audio track. What Twitch VOD track is doing, basically while you are streaming your audience hears all of the sounds that you will send towards the audio track 1. But the Twitch VOD track is what will be actually saved at the Twitch. That means for example in case you would like to save on Twitch all of your live stream without the music so you will not get copyright strike for the copyrighted music, you can simply check this Twitch VOD track and you will choose the separate track in which we will later disable the music. But let's go step by step. Then we are going towards the recording and here you can once again choose the audio track. In case you want to capture all of the sounds that you are capturing for your stream, you can simply keep it on the one. In case you would like to capture all of the sounds that you want to capture for the Twitch VOD, you will check two. And in case you want to record anything specific, you can check any of the others. Then we'll click on apply and OK. Okay, now as you can see in the audio mixer, we have no longer the desktop audio, but instead we got here our microphone. Now we are going to add all of the other sounds that we want to actually input towards our stream. For this, we will create a specific scene in which all of the audios will be at the one place. So we will click on the scenes, I will click on plus and create new scene. Let's call it for example, audio. Now we are going towards the sources and I will click on plus and I will click on application audio capture like this. And let's say that first of all, we want to add our Spotify. So for this, I will call it music. I will click on okay. And then you are going to choose towards the window, the window in which the sound is played. So in my case, as I said, I want to play here music. I will click on Spotify and then make sure that in window match priority, you are going with match title. Otherwise find window of the same executable like this okay and now as you can see in our audio mixer we got already added music as well now we can test whether it's working as you can see our microphone is working because this green line is actually moving in the audio mixer and now let's test the spotify and as you can see it's working as well. So we just added the capturing of the music towards our audio mixer. And let's say that I want to decrease the volume. I will simply move this slider towards the left and decrease the volume by 10 decibels. Now let's say that we want to add capturing sound of our Discord. I will once again click on plus. I will click on application audio capture beta. Once again, Discord like this. I will click on window discord like this and once again window match priority same match title otherwise find windows of same executable like this okay now simply trust me it's working because uh, i have no sounds currently on my discord but as you can see once again it's already added into our audio mixer now we will simply repeat the process for example in case you would like to add the sound of your youtube that means whatever coming out from your let's say google so once again, plus application audio capture, Google, OK, capture, Chrome. That is basically what I'm playing right now on my YouTube. So click on this window match priority like this. OK, we can test it out. 
and once again it's working in our audio mixer okay and lastly let's say that you want to add here for example sound of your game so for this this game actually have to be running in the background so my is already launching as you can see here the valorant is being started so i will click on plus i will click once again on application audio capture i will write here game valo for example okay I will choose here the Valorant like this and once again executable. Okay. And as soon as the game will be launched, we will see the move on the audio stop right here at the game Valo like this. And for you to see, as you can see, it's actually happened something there on the background. And all of those sounds we can see here in our OBS studio. Okay, so now I actually close the game and let's say that this is everything what we wanted to add, that this is everything what we want to capture. We got here game audio, the web browser capturing, Discord sound capture and Spotify as well. And of course we are capturing our microphone by default. This is what we said as first. Now we can easily group all of those together so we can work with them more easily. So I can click on all of those together while I'm holding control. So like this, all I will click on first and hold shift, click on last. And as you can see, they are all selected. Now you will right click and click on group selected items. I will, for example, call it audio like this. And voila, as you can see, it takes no space in our sources and we actually have all of our audio stops separated right here. But now basically, in case you would create new scene, for example, scene with your gameplay or scene with your webcam or anything new, let's call it scene 2. As you can see, now once again, there is nothing in your audio mixer except your microphone, which we set as a first. So now you can simply add all of those separated audio files towards any of the scene you are currently using. So for this, you will simply click on sources at this new scene. You will click on plus and click on scene. Here you will simply choose add existing click on audio. In my case, it's called audio. In your case, it can of course be named differently. So I will click on audio, okay. And now, once again, all of our actual audio settings has been added towards our audio mixer. And as you can see, actually the music has decreased volume, same as it has in the original scene. That means all of the settings that you will set in default, it will move towards all other scenes in which those audio scene will be inputted. Okay, so now basically we created all of those audio sources that you want to separate and we added them towards all of the scenes you want to use them in. Now you need to play with the volume level which you want to use. So let's say that you want to use your microphone at the top level. Let's say that you want to decrease the volume of your game that you are going to put towards your stream. And let's say that you want to increase the volume of your Discord because for example on your stream your chat or anybody else actually cannot hear properly what your teammates are telling. So for this as you can see we have already volume on the maximum. You can go towards those three dots. You will go to filters and you will click on plus, gain and here you will simply gain some decibels towards your audio. Thanks what you will make this Discord audio input louder in comparison with everything else. Okay, so let's say that you already mix the volume how you want to have it in the end on your stream. And now the last thing that you have to do is go towards any of those audio stops. You will click on those three dots and you will go towards the advanced audio properties. Here you can see all of the audio stops that you are using, microphone, Google, game, Discord, Spotify, everything. You can manage here the overall volume that is being decreased, guide or whatever else. And basically the main thing that we are going to focus on is those tracks. If you remember correctly from the beginning of this video, we set the track one to be our audio track for our live streams. That means we want to check here everything what we want to use towards our live stream. Therefore, we will check here everything what we want our audience to hear, okay? So I want them to hear my Discord, my game, my Google or YouTube or whatever actually I will have in my browser my microphone and my music. The audio track 2, we actually said that it will be for Twitch VOD. That means here will be captured everything what we want to stay in the Twitch VOD after the stream is finished. 
So in my case, as I mentioned, I won't hear everything except the music because I don't want to get copyright strike on my videos on my Twitch. That means that even though we will listen to music on our stream and even though our audience will listen to music as well during the stream, it will be muted on the Twitch VOD. So I will uncheck the music. Okay, and all of those later, you can basically work with them how you want. Let's say, for example, that audio track 3 you want to use for your recording and you want to record only your game and your microphone. So I will keep check only my microphone and my game. Audio track 4 might capture my Discord only, audio track 5 might capture my game only and audio track 6 for example can capture microphone only. And voila, we are basically at the end of this video. We created all of the separated audio tracks towards your OBS, we balance the incoming audio of each of the amp that we set we choose towards which track will which audio actually goes and basically we added all of our separated audio files towards all of our scenes that we want to use them for. Now I can simply close this and we are done. Ok ladies and gentlemen that's all for this video, really hope you found it what you were looking for. Hope you are good and video fine, thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time.